Hey there, on the South Cowboy Mario 3, no points, no money, and World 4 is a pretty poor world for this game in terms of marketing. Where am I? Oh, I took the wrong pipe. I thought it was the long pipe for some reason. It was not the long path pipe across the water at all. Because this place is called Giant Land, and I don't know why, but in terms of marketing, knowing that there were giant versions of common enemies was just absolutely wild to a young version of me. Like, I saw like a screenshot somewhere around here, and I, my mouth was agape. Was, I just could not believe what I was seeing. And, uh... I think that Nintendo noticed because, like, one of the first screenshots I've seen of Super Mario World, which immediately, you know, convinced me that it was indeed a system I now had to absolutely purchase. Oh, this is not impossible. It's got to land on the very edge here. Okay. Well, basically, where I was going at is that the first shot of Super Mario World I saw was one with a bonsai bill. And I was like, yeah, that's the best Mario game in the world, because it's not just big land big, it's like beyond super huge. And I don't know what's up with huge things and convincing me that they make good video game purchases, <laughs> but here we go. <laughs> Has never brought me to a mistake up to now, to this day. wonder if I can despawn these turtles, it'd be a lot easier. I don't know what are the despawn rules. Like, I despawn that other guy one day. Oh! So, yeah. I'm not sure what I'm doing to despawn them. I'm just kind of dancing around with the edge of the screen, and eventually, sometimes, they just disappear. This, I don't look. I, I can do this without despawn. You do this, then you're like here, then you jump to the other side, then you jump here. See? Nothing to fear, other than fear, and possibly fear. Here, I just gotta do a die jump, as they call it. And here we go, I did it, I'm somewhere in a world! And one, and one, no one, no one. Alright, see if you hesitate, but then you jump. You get a big flashy flower, it's made out of fireworks and pain, and you get three up. Not very useful in this day and age, but something to think about. I could use one of my, my only other hammer on you. But I'm not. I think there are better places to use it. Oh my gosh, it's a tie level again. I'm afraid. Oh, there's Big Bass. It's just that everyone. Big Bass. Boss Bass. Big Bass. There we go. I'm part of the new Mario. Yeah, I knew. I knew it. I could see it coming. Honestly, this tiny cheat there. I can't see the rest of the map. Okay, I'm gonna take the violence here. Or maybe not. Maybe you're gonna jump way faster than I expected. Never mind, nothing matters. Yeah, so the tiny boss for the tiny fish might actually be more dangerous for me in this in this run than boss bass ever will. Also, it can just kill me naturally through the act of killing me. Hey, buddy, how are you doing, like, all the way in the front here? Like, you're not hard or anything, but, you know. Hey, that's an important prize, though. Possibly. Possibly. All that sound effect, it's, it's in your ears. So, I'm trying to rush, and that definitely worked for now, at the very least. Uh-oh. Ah. Alright, now he's gonna recoil. Yeah, we're not gonna press that P-switch. We don't want a whole bunch of... Uh-oh. So, fish generator is scary because a fish might appear and jump right underneath my feet. But it didn't happen! And then the level was over before it even started. <laughs> like, that's the Mario 3 experience right there. indeed. Everyone dancing everywhere else. Gonna pick a box, and its content will help me. Eh. Fireball, I mean, it's two hits, if anything. I can't imagine I'll ever need a fire aspect, but it's hits I can take. Alright, here we go. World 3. Remember to sledge bro. Oh, jeez. Yeah, well, there he is now. Doesn't matter if you take a top pipe or the front pipe, they all lead the same. 
so this is gonna have the fall from the top enemies. The reason why I rush there is I don't know if it killing that other beetle beside it will give me points. That's the main- see, look at that. Whoa, I'm shaking! Like, maybe- okay, there's a way to arrange the spawning so that we can- <sighs> So, you just kind of slightly get the camera forward. Yeah, you just tease this beetle out, then you do this. Yeah, and you hope that everyone is just off screen. Oh, that's a big jump. Can I actually do this? Ah! Yes! Okay, you jump really far in this game. Alright, sounds good. See, that guy's fine. Yeah, you go ahead and spin, little spiny. Stuck on a sailing like Mario Andretti. That's that famous novelty song from 1944 called Talking About People That Don't Yet Exist. Dot com. The dot com part was really confusing to the public at the time. Alright, you're just here in your little microverse. Yeah, so I think I'm going to take this like super slow because I don't want nothing stupid happening. There we go. Taken slow. I do that jump. Yeah. I can probably do that jump. That was just a. Uh, well, I. Hmm. Wow! You didn't Taking it slow. Like, you got a lot of time considering the length of most of these levels. You really think about it. Uh, it's fine. You can just go wrong, wrong way and speed of sound. Okay. Um. I don't think I can do this. Yeah, I don't, uh, hmm. Okay. I got some leaves. That's why. that you're not guaranteed the same consistency if you're like, I don't know man, if your thumb gets tired or something. This will make this pretty easier actually. Ta -da. Video game, oh. Whoa, taking things risky here. I think I'm just gonna fly. We got this place up here for no reason. Just fly over those money and just land back here. Like, I, I had to get a feather, a leaf, just to be able to fly over this place. Any enemies? No. Get with the back of your head, it's the gold flower! Okay. I mean, yeah, like, I don't know. Maybe there's a way I could arrange myself around that, but... I personally could not see it. It's a castle. We've got a uh, uh, head here. And we got Maverick Thwomps. This old friend. Alright, I'm being kind of careful here. So they don't, they're not as violent as... Uh, this might have been a mistake. This is a bonus. There might be like points I can't not get or something. I'm just so used to going in this one particular unmarked... Shoot, okay, I can fly if I'm careful about... Not hitting invisible... Oh boy, this is... 
not ideal. I just might have, yeah, killed myself inadvertently. Well, well now I can't, so I'm just, I'm just dead. Oh, yeah, like, I'm just... And I thought the block would have been on the other edge, so I... Ugh, had I just flown against the wall, I would have been fine. But they put the coin guide in weird places. Alright, you know what? It's fine. I can do the small. Good job. Just amazing skills here. They, they behave weird. They're kind of slow to react. Is it just me? Is it just me that thinks this? I guess they're designed so yeah look they, they don't smash at all they just they move in a direction they're programmed to go but barely more than that and why is the retreat so slow man i'm i'm i don't know what to make of this all right so i guess they're really easy to run underneath like that's cool look at that guy that pipe is where you pop back out when you take that bonus i'm pretty sure you know, like, this fortress has no power-ups and no point. My run through this level has been just as if I was playing the level normally. <laughs> like, that's basically all there is to it, man! Alright, I think that's gonna be it for today. Uh, I think there's gonna be a lot more to do tomorrow. Four, five, six, and... No! Hey, this is a level that is split cleanly in half. Well, that's nice.